about to watch well there's a sad rumor going on now about David Doe I was told that he had an accident a car accident to be precise and got injured before we go on and on if this is your first time coming to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your notification for more updates and please give me a thumbs up well in as much as I like to talk too much I will try to summarize this matter well, I don't really know what they go on between David Doe and Kemi Uloyo, but I found out from my source that Kemi Uloyo came out saying David Doe insulted her in 2017. Although David Doe has apologized to her numerous times, she has deliberately turned deaf ears to David Doe's apology, hence her constant nagging and hating on David Doe. Please drop, drop a comment below if you have anything to say about this, because in as much as I'm the one doing the talking, your opinion matters a lot. With that being said, I wish David Doe quick recovery and I pray that Kemi Uloyo's wishes for David Doe will not come to pass. Of course, it will go back to Senda. <laughs> Bido has taken to his Instagram to say if you can't reach me I beg day your day if I need you I know where to find you he said he has always been putting people in front but now it's time for him to take care of himself and his family and honestly I support David Doe on this like I stand because it's time even if you kill yourself like if you kill yourself for per se they could still ask you say madam why you kill yourself for me so if you do good then go talk if you not do good then go still talk why not just take care of yourself you can only take care of others when you start taking care of yourself you can only show love to people when you start loving yourself and that is just the reality of it it's just which you come that's all see even if you shave your black to do hair, give man to somebody as sacrifice for your well-being. The person will still ask you, say, why you know that I'm white? Why you know that that to do hair white before you offer him a sacrifice? <laughs> I'll tell you, anything you do, a single talk. You do bad, a single talk. You do good, a single talk. People will talk. You understand? So, I stand David though Whatever decision he has decided to make now, I stand him. I'll forever be his fan. <laughs> well, Kemi Oluloyo, <laughs> Took to her Instagram to say that Peruzzi is in big trouble. <laughs> that she has interviewed the second lady accusing Peruzzi of rape. <laughs> In as much as rape is a sensitive issue, honestly speaking. <sighs> well, I hope this is not true. I hope Peruzzi is not a rapist. I hope these accusations are false accusations. Please, if you have anything to say about this, if you have more information about this Peruzzi rape issue, I beg, just drop on a comment down below. It's very, very, very important. I really need to understand what's going on. Peruzzi is in deep trouble. I have interviewed the second woman accusing Peruzzi of rape. It is very serious. I have to edit the interview. I have to put it out, okay? Official King Cross, I'm not insulting Davido. I'm not calling him names. I haven't called him names yet. So fucking shut up. Okay, I will remove you from my page. Davido is a fucking idiot. Now I'm insulting him. If Davido calls your mother weary, drug user, oil your pussy, would you like it? No, you wouldn't. I carried Davido three times between the age of birth and two months. In as much as this sounds funny to me, it might not sound funny to another person. And it's funny to me because Kemi Oluloyo is involved. You all know Kemi Oluloyo. I don't know if she's cloud chasing again. <laughs> but please, if you have a concrete information about Peruzzi being a rapist, please do me a favor by dropping a comment below. It will mean a lot to me. Oh, Kemi Oluloyo is a case, a very big case. Like, if you know her, you know she's a case. I don't know if she has children. Why would they allow their mother go through this insult on social media? Come on. They should just call her, sit her down, and speak senses into her, honestly. Well, with that being said, <laughs> yeah, there's this guy called 
Hank Anuko. Hmm. Who had that tragic story about Hank being dead? Because I heard it, it was all over Instagram, all over social media. In fact, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, name it. Everybody was saying Hank is dead. R.I.P. Hank. This man is not dead, though. This man is not dead. But Nigerian bloggers, why? Nigerian bloggers, why would you wish a man that is healthy? <laughs> These things. It's not funny. It's not funny, honestly. I'm just going to drop a video for you guys to watch because honestly, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about this. I'm just. Ugh. I am alive. You don't listen to them. The poisonous first vipers are not the children of God. God is in charge of my life and not them. Well, to be sincere with you guys, it's just unfair to wish death on another man just for car chaser. I mean, they went extremely far this time. They went too far. Well, with that being said, that is one good thing about my channel. You get to know the truth, the real truth. You know, because I'm all about honesty. I'm not here to give you guys false news, false hope. I'm here to give you guys the way it is. As it being a sagotic seer to una, you understand? I'm not here to support one person, leave one person. My opinions are honest. And that is why I keep saying you guys should. Please drop any, if you have any opinion, if you have anything to say, just drop your comment regarding the discussion, regarding this gist. You understand? So just drop your comment. Tell me your opinion. Tell me anything where you feel. Say, you know, they're okay. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification button to get new updates from me. If you like this video, follow give me thumbs up because that one will make me happy. Honestly, thank you so much for watching and bon voyage. Plenty money is not enough, so do 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 do